I remember I was in the queue at Superdrug and my agent rang me and he was like, we've got you the ride on Dream Ahead. And I was like, yes. And everyone in the queue is looking at me like, and I was like, wow, I've got a ride, big ride on Saturday to these old dears in the queue. And they're, oh, good luck, love. I've been doing quite well as the season had progressed. And I think on the day, there was so many meetings. So I was drawn two, which was close to the stands rail. I was quite fortunate because David Simcock, who I was riding for, is one of my favourite trainers to ride for because he likes the horse to get in a rhythm and if he was light enough I think he'd be a good jockey because he can read races. He was very calm in the paddock, had never sat on the horse before, gave me a leg up, says take your time, enjoy yourself. That was basically it. They're off. Part of our job is to get on horses that we've never sat on before and as a jockey you know you adapt suddenly to that horse you're on and how it's acting and you can tell when you're on something so powerful and special and you're just like mm, nice. I think I knew I had a chance of winning when it was about a furlong out. So I'm a bit tight for room but luckily Richard Hills' horse kind of drops back, Steve drowns on bated breath he takes it up, switches over to the rail slightly and just leaves me a bit of room. And to be fair, although there wasn't far to go, I always felt like I was going to pick him up because I was just travelling so well. It was just a case of waiting for a bit of room, push the button and uh, away he went. He made it very easy for me, I have to say. Hayley Turner and Jim Mayer has won the Daly Joy Cup to bait in breath. When I crossed the line, it took me a while for it to sink in. I was like, I can't believe that just happened and I'm like, is there going to be a steward's inquiry? Was there a false start? And then Frankie came over and gave me a high five and I was like, oh my word, I actually did just won the July Cup. Wonderful. When you get on the horse, you're in the present moment on the horse. The crowds and everything around you, you don't really digest it until after the race. You're like, all of a sudden you can get soaked up by it all. It wasn't until you kind of step back and look and think, oh actually, yeah, I've made a bit of history there, first girl. And as group ones go, I think that the July Cup is one of the biggest group one wins you'd probably want to win. If you asked many of the jockeys, I think that would be high up on their list. It's nice to see the progress that the female jockeys have made from 10 years ago to how it is now and not just through their hard work but also I feel like the trainers and owners feel more comfortable using a girl than they used to and it's becoming more common and the coaching and the training and everything's made a massive step forward from when I won the July Cup 10 years ago. Obviously it's nice to be called like an inspiration, makes me feel a bit old as well actually <laughs> but yeah no it's great. It'd be nice to see a female champion jockey and I don't think anyone thought it could be done until recently. I think Holly's been a massive inspiration towards that and you certainly couldn't rule it out now. The whole thing was a blur after, for days, weeks after. Yeah, it was a good day. <laughs>